Yep, you still got them somehow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't think I got hooked. Welcome to Brick and Mortar. My name is Lauren, and I've been around outdoor shops my entire life. In this series, we travel to some of our mini retail partners across the nation, check out their stores, and find out what they love to do in their own backyards. In this episode of Brick and Mortar, we are in the small mountain town of Ridgeway, Colorado. We are here to hang with our friends from Riggs Fly Shop and Guide Service and check out what their surrounding area has to offer. Riggs was founded in 2001. Uh, so moving on to 23 years here in Ridgeway. At the time when I first came here to Ridgeway, I had moved here and was working for other outfitters in the region. And in the back of my mind, I was always telling myself, why not Ridgeway? Why isn't anything happening here? It's got a big cheese and smile so, on. <laughs> yeah, it's a good story. Like I said, I, I come from a guide background and guided for, I think, eight years before starting to do this. And my wife came into the fold, thank goodness, because she orchestrates a lot here behind the scenes. We've been working together as a couple for, gosh, over 10 years now. God bless you. And, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot, but uh, we, we love it. We've created something special and we're proud of mm -hmm. it. And we, we're, we're a good team. Is there more that you want me to say? He has a hard time not giving you the big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you get critiqued. Yeah, get Heather on film now. Let's do that. Everyone keeps asking, how do we do it? How have we done it together I don't, as a couple? I'll be honest, I don't know. Years. I feel like we're friends. I like him most days. <laughs> but I do think that there is this idea of when you're a husband and wife team that you your collaboration is very focused you want this to work, right? You want this to look a certain way. You're both, for the most part, on the same page. Not always, but you know, for the most part we are. Tomorrow you guys are gonna be fishing with our guides Spencer and Doug down on the lower Gunnison River. Outstanding guides, very patient, understanding, and uh, just fun to hang out with. So you're gonna have an incredible time. <laughs> no, I'm so excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to catch fish. I'm excited to go camping. I'm excited to like soak in the area and see everything up and down that river. I've been doing some Google image searching and it just looks otherworldly, truly, right? So I'm excited. We're going to be floating about nine miles down the river. Uh, we call it the Lower Gunnison. It's below the confluence of the Main Fork and the North Fork of the Gunnison. Uh, probably flowed about two and a half miles the first day, then about seven the second day. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. So tired. So ready for another margarita and also for bedtime. <laughs> like my ass is very wet. <laughs> And now you caught some fish in the last one. Is there a goal for this one? I want to catch a big fish. I want to catch a, a fish that I feel impressed by. I want to impress myself with my fish catch. Is what I want to do. What else? Straight ahead of us, main fork of the Gunnison coming out of the Gunnison Gorge. And coming left to right here. This is the north fork of the Gunnison. Okay. One of the natives. And a blue head soccer. So, so. 
There you go. Strip. Nice. Let him run if he's going to run. Good. Strip. Oop. Good rod up in there. Back over to the right. Oh! Oh! Shit! No! By the way, this is the all a cart trip. Each fly you lose is ten dollars. Oh no! <laughs> Interrupted me, man. I'm so sorry. You should. Oh my god! Nicely <laughs> done. Take her to the left, up, over, and down to the left. Nice, yeah. Bring that rod up over my head. Yeah. <laughs> All right, rod tip down. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's Mr. Bojangles there. Water again. As long as that fish's head is underwater, we're good. Nice. From the banks of the beautiful Gunnison River, it's the Camp Cooking Show with your hosts, Spencer and Doug. Hi, I'm Spencer. And I'm Doug. And we're on the banks of the Gunnison River to cook steaks and asparagus. So we're going to get that griddle started, get it heated up nice and hot, smoking hot. Steaks are on. Looking good, Doug. Get that little guy taste there. Good? Pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna become famous, right? There you have it. So you do steak and asparagus on the banks of the Gunnison River. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Enjoy, guys. Oh. I'm gonna grab salt and pepper. So nice. You're welcome. Where are you from originally, Lauren? Um, Michigan. Okay. I heard a little bit of that. Yeah, it's there. How do you say bagel? Bagel. Okay. It's the right way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not quite to the bagel. No. No. Who says bagel? Day two, we're packing up camp now, just kind of getting ready for the day. We had some awesome coffee that's like their own um, local blend, which was great. Had some eggs, potatoes, full breakfast. So camp's getting broken down. We're gonna hop back in the boats and do some more fishing. Yeah, so this was an ancient fire pit um, dating back to about 7,000 years ago, uh, which when they discovered this really kind of changed the history books. Uh, they didn't think people were here that long ago. Yeah, we got some petroglyphs, which are carved in the rock there. We got like an antelope right there. That's a pictograph of drawn in. It was wonderful. It was a ton of fun. It was super exciting. I learned a ton. And it was just fun to be outside and like, 
you know, sitting around a campfire with people and enjoying the scenery and looking up at the stars. And it was definitely an experience like I've never had, but it was super worth it. And I loved every second. So it was cool. I'll see you guys next year. Maybe never. It's been fun, bud. Yeah. You can find me here.